it's Cupcake here. Today we have a very special game in the club. It's LOL Monopoly, a brand new game from Hasbro. A super special thank you to the very nice people over at Hasbro for sending this Monopoly LOL version out to us. We're gonna have so much fun playing this game. Look, on the inside, we've got six new accessories. We get a game board, six tokens, 16 doll cards, four pet cards, 18 surprise cards, 49 doll badges, die, money pack, and a game guide. This looks like so much fun. It's so pretty and colorful too. So let's get to unboxing this LOL Monopoly game and see all the goodies on the inside. Ooh, there's a lot. Okie dokie. Oh, look at this. We get to unbox everything individually. It's like a whole unboxing experience. So let's get on the inside of this one. It's a big giant question mark. I wonder what's behind it. And look at all of these little tiny question marks. Surprises everywhere we get to poke through. So I'm gonna do this big giant one first. Oh. Well then, it was just a whole bunch of game cards and our LOL Monopoly money. Okay, so let's lift this up. We didn't really have to poke through that. Oh, there is something in here though. Let's see, let's see. Oh, it's our surprises. Each hole has a different surprise. So much fun. Look at all of these surprises. Yay. Okay, okay, so let's go with this one first. I'm not gonna open them up just yet because I wanna see the instructions to see if we open them during the game when our LOL dolls win something or if we can just open them up all together. So, so cute. I love the packaging. Is this our board game? Yep, just like our LOL board game, it folds open. Whoa, I love the colors on this. This is so pretty. And look, we've even got some of our pets. It's Dalmatian, Boxy, and Beatnik Babe. Some of the newer series dolls. Oh, and look over here, we've even got Unicorn. Oh, 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 and look over here, it's Hop Hop. Okay, so let's set up our game. Okay, so we've set up our game. And now our players are... Done. Dusk. Good day. Oh, I'm gonna collect the most dolls. Nuh-uh. I'm gonna collect the most pets and dolls. Just you wait and see. Okay, settle down, guys. Maybe we could all win. Yeah, Goody, that's very wishful thinking. I don't think that's gonna happen, though. But may the best player win. Well, the girls have something, right? Those are all of the dolls and the pets that they can collect. We've got our surprise card set up. We've also got our tokens. And here are the accessories that we get in the game. Now, the tokens aren't super easy to get. You have to have a set of dolls, which means they have to be from the same club. So the yellow is Sugar and Spice. They are from the same club, so they're a doll set. And once you have that doll set, you can pick a star if you pay for it, the amount that it costs on that doll's card. Once you've got four of these stars, then you can trade those in for an emoji. And these are for us to open. So in each box of LOL Monopoly, we get some heart glasses. Look at those, they look like sweet princesses glasses. Here's the next one. Oh, we've got a new headpiece for unicorn. Look how glittery, and the flowers are different colors. Here's the next one. VR Cuties Virtual Reality Glasses. And the next. Very sparkly earmuffs. And what about this one? Oh, we've got some glasses for spice, and they are sparkly too. Our very last surprise is, oh, a glittery sleeping mask. Cool, it kind of looks like it would belong to Beatnik Babe. So these are our moving pieces, but in our LOL Monopoly game, we are gonna be using our LOLs. Yay, I get to participate. Yeah, don't hate, participate. <laughs> that was a good one. Here is all of our LOL Monopoly money. Each player gets 1,500 of this. So that's five ones, one five, two tens, one $20 bill, one $400 bills, and two $500 bills. Yep, we've got $500 LOL Monopoly money. Here's Dawn's money, Dusk's money, 
Okay, money, 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 money. Goodies money and baddies money. Yes, nobody better be stealing my money. And the rest of the money goes in the bank. All right, so the first player is Don. Yes, roll me a good number, please. Roll me a good number. Okay, we're gonna have her start off on the go spot. Remember, the player who has the most dolls and pets is the winner, and that will be decided as soon as we are finished with the last card. Do -do 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 -do. It's gonna be me. No, it's gonna be me. Vote desk if you think it's gonna be me. No, no, goodness always wins. Well, let's see. I'm gonna roll the dice for Dawn. What did she land on? She landed on the number two. Where does that take her? One, two, oh no. She has to pay nap tax. What? $200? That's way too much. Oh, poor Dawn. So let's get to her bank and take $200, which goes right into the bank. Oh boy, Dawn, I, I didn't know you had such bad luck. Oh, come on, Dusk, stop worrying in. Well, I wouldn't be too smug, Dusk, because it's your turn next. I ain't worried. I'm gonna land on something good, just you see. Okay, let's roll for Dusk. She landed on four. Let's get her on go. Where does four take her? One, two, three, four. Oh, she gets Dalmatian. That is, if she decides to buy her. Yay, see, I told you so. Of course I'm gonna buy her. This is after money. Okay, Dalmatian costs $200. Let's grab it from her bank. And she gets to grab Dalmatian's card. We'll place that right over here where Dusk was so we know what she owns. Now it's Goody's turn. Yay, I'm excited and nervous at the same time. Let's roll for her. Oh, she lands on four. <laughs> Wait, why are you laughing, Dusk? Oh, you see. Okay, so let's move Goody four spaces. One, two, three, and four. Oh, Dusk was laughing because she has to pay rent. Yep, you gotta pay me the money. Oh, man. Rent for Dalmatian's spot is $25. So we're gonna grab $25 from Goody's bank. Here's a 20 and a five. And it gets deposited straight into Dusk's bank. Oh, can't let Dusk win. I'm the only baddie around. Alrighty, it's Batty's turn. Let's roll that dice for her. Well, she landed on one. One? Where did that take me? It takes her right to Beatnik Babe. Okay, I'll buy her. Excellent. Beatnik Babe costs $60. Here is Batty's bank. How do we get to $60? Well, she's got a 50. And let's find a 10. There you go. 50 and a 10 make 60. She pays the bank. And she cashes in on a brand new Beatnik Babe LOL doll. Ka-ching! Yes, add a tie with Dusk. Go, Bobo. Next up, it's Dawn's turn again. Oh, please give me that good luck thumbs up. I need to land on something good. Okay, you guys heard her. Give her that good luck thumbs up. And hopefully she lands on a good spot. Oh, that didn't even roll. It plopped right onto the number six. Well, let's see if that gets her any luck. Where does she land? One, two, three, four, five, and six. Oh, no. I'm in jail. Nope, you're just visiting. Oh, phew. Next, we're going to spin for dusk. And what does she land on? She landed on three. One, two, three. She landed on DJ. Oh, yes. I'm going to buy everything. I want to buy DJ. Okay, DJ costs $120. Does Dusk have enough? She has a 20 and a $100 bill. And here's her DJ card from the Hip Hop Club. So far, Dusk is in the lead. Time for another roll for Goody. And she landed on two. Oh, where does that take her? It takes her to the surprise spot. Yay, I hope I get a good surprise. Oh, she's right. Sometimes the surprises may not be the best of surprises. So let's see what this one is. It says trade you. Swap any one of your dolls with anyone from the bank. Well, Goody doesn't really have any dolls. So this one she might need to use at a later time. She can definitely do that. Yeah, I just save it. Okay, we'll leave that for her right over here. All right, time to roll the dice for Betty. Whatever did she get? She got five. Go, oh, this better be good. One, two, three, four, five. She lands on surprise right with Goody. Okay, let's check those surprises for her. 
It says, you go girl, get out of jail free. This card may be kept until needed, traded or sold. Ooh. Yes, baggy witches. All of our little LOLs are cornered up in one spot of the board. Let's see if one of them can break free and get in the lead. It's Dawn's turn, let's roll for her. Ooh, Dawn did break free, she's got a six. But where exactly does that take her? One, two, three, four, five, and six. She lands on surprise. Oh yeah, oh yeah. Which surprise does she get? What's the buzz, honey? Advance to Queen Bee, whoa! She goes a super long way, all the way to Queen Bee. OMG! Whoa! This is amazing! Whoa! So yeah, from the Great Wadis, I will take it! So Queen Bee costs $400. Let's see, does Dawn have enough? She should. She's got a $500 bill, and the bank can give her $100 back. I'd say a fair trade. That is a great wadi doll. Don't get much better than that. She's right. Here is our lovely Queen Bee, and Dawn gets to snag her up. Now we're going to spin for dusk. What did she land on? She landed on two. That takes her past the jail. And on to Rocker. Oh yeah, another doll I get to collect. I'll buy it. The price for Rocker is $140. Dusk is just buying those LOL dolls like it's nobody's business. So here we have $100. And we need 40 more. We'll just do the 50, so that's $150 and the bank owes her $10. $10 out, $150 in. And she gets the Snag Up Rocker's card. Well, help! Oh, well, everyone has a doll except for me. I need to get a doll. So roll me a good number. Goody's right. Everyone has a doll or pet except for her. Let's see what she lands on. Oh, she's got two. That's not going to take her far, but let's see what she lands on. One, two. Okay, she's just visiting the jail. Well, at least that's better than paying rent or going to jail. It's Batty's turn. Yeah, must catch up if I want to be the winner. Let's roll the dice. Oh, she lands on six. Okay, let's move her up six spots. One, two, three, four, five, and six. Hey, she lands on MC Hammy. And she costs $200. $200? Whoa, that's a lot of money. But I'm trying to get as many pets and dolls as I can, so I'll buy her. Okay, here's Batty's bank. Here's $100 and $200. Once she pays the bank, we can get her new pet, Amsi Hammy. Dusk is still in the lead, but Batty is catching up real fast. We're back at Dawn's turn, and we're on round number four. Oh, pretty please, I really want to land on Unicorn. I want a Unicorn or an doll. Well, Unicorn is pretty far on the board. Batty's actually closer to Unicorn. But you never know with this game. Let's roll the dice for her and see what happens. Oh, it's another six. And as she goes past the go, she earns $200. Wow, you mean I get paid? You sure do. So here's one and $200. Straight into her bank. Ew, I feel so rich. So the go actually doesn't count as a spot. She just passes through it, collects her $200, and here we go. One, two, three, four, five, and six. Oh, she lands on surprise. Well, it must be my lucky day. It's looking like that, but let's see. What does the surprise card say? Not today, BB. Cancel the card that is played against you. Okay, she gets to keep this card until she's ready to use it. She can definitely use this if one of the other girls tries to steal her doll. Ew, it's kind of like bug repellent, except it's LOL repellent. <laughs> now it's Dusk's turn again. Whoa, what's up with everyone getting sixes? She's got a six. Oh, hopefully I'm as lucky as Dawn, or even luckier. Well, let's see how that works for her. One, two, three. Catch my fate. Oh, so unprofessional. Four, five, and six. She landed on kicks, and she costs $200. Well, I have enough money, so I'm ready to collect. I'll buy her. That's a lot of money, and Dusk is running out. She does have $500. Since kicks cost $200, she's going to give the bank two, and then she's going to get three in return. So here's one, two, and $300. 
So where is Kix? There she is. Ready to go into Dusk's collection. Let's roll that die for Goody. Goody lands on four. Let's move her on up four spots. One, two, three, and a four. It's Goody and Batty on the same spot. But uh-oh, she landed on MC Hammy. Who owns MC Hammy? I do. So Goody has to pay me money. No! Yep, she's right. Goody has to pay rent. And that's $30 for MC Hammy. Let's grab her $50 bill. She'll give the 50 to Batty, and Batty will give her $20 back. Batty's turn next. Oh, where did she land? I spy a six. So let's move Batty one, two, three, four, five, and six. Whoa, she gets to roll again. Mega cool. Well then, let's see what she lands on this time. This time around, she got four. So let's move her four spots. One, two, three, and four. She lands on surprise. She's getting lucky. What is her surprise? Trade ya. Swap any one of your complete doll sets with any one of another players, including any badges on those dolls. Well, she doesn't have any complete doll sets, so she can keep this for later. Well, I'm getting so many cool things. Yep, she's got a lot of stuff. Round number five is Dawn's turn. She lands on five. Where does that take her? One, two, three, four, and five. Right on Diva. Diva is $160. Of course I'm gonna buy her. I have to catch up on the collection. Okay, $160 it is. Here's 100, 150, and 160. And here is Diva. Let's roll for dusk. Oh, she lands on one. But that's not bad at all. She lands on free parking. Sweet. Hey, 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 you guys. Um, please vote for me because I don't have any dolls. So embarrassing. Hopefully things are looking up. She lands on five. Here's one, two, three, four, and five. She lands on unicorn. Yay! This is awesome. Wait, what? Oh, man. Unicorn costs $220. Of course I'll buy her. So we've got $200 and all we need is a 20. Okay, so I don't think she's got her 20, but we'll get two 10s. That makes 220. And the Unicorn LOL doll has been sold to the lucky goody. Here's what we have left from our dolls and pets. Not much, but there's still plenty left. Now it's Batty's turn again. Good. Well, Dusk, I have a proposition for you. A proper who now? The proposition. I want to trade you my get out of jail free card for one of your dolls. <laughs> oh, you think you're sneaky, huh? Well, I'm trying to win this game. I mean, get out of jail free is very tempting to have, but I still want to have the most dolls and pets so that I can win the game. Okay, well, suit yourself. Go. Let's roll for Betty. She lands on four. Where does that four take her? One, two, three, and four. Whoa. She gets to roll again. Okay. She landed on two this time. Where's that go? One and two. She lands on Neon Kitty. Two hundred dollars? Why do all these LOLs cost so much? Okay, I'll buy her. Let's see. Does she have enough money? Oh, she does. She has a $500 bill. So the bank can give her 300 back. One, two, and three, it's all there. And here goes Neon Kitty's card. She is second to last on the pets. Starting off round number six is Dawn again. And what did she get? She landed on three. One, two, and surprise! whoop de doo Okay, surprise, what do you have for us? So, fetch. Advance to the next pet space. If unowned, you may buy it from the bank. If owned, pay the owner twice the rent. Oh no! <clears throat> Uh-oh. What is the next pet? Let's see, let's see, let's see. Oh, it's Hop Hop. Well, Dawn just got super lucky because no one owns Hop Hop yet. Yay! She costs $200. Buy or pass? Of course, buy. Let's see, does Dawn have enough? Here's 100 and 200. And the very last LOL pet has been sold. Oh yeah, and once we're done with the surprise cards, if our dolls haven't kept it, then we just put it underneath the rest of the surprises. Next up is Dusk's turn. Where do the dice go? Okay, she lands on three. She's gonna pass Goody. One, 
two, and three. Whatever did she land on? She landed on Mer Baby, who costs two hundred and forty dollars. That's a lot of money. Well, I got to stay in the weed, so I'll buy you. Okay, here's Dusk's bank, but does she have enough? Let's see. She has one hundred, two hundred, two twenty, two thirty. And looks like she's got 240. Let's double check. 100, 200, 220, 230, and 240. And there's Mer Baby from the theater club. It's Goody's turn. Let's roll for her. Oh, she got one, but that's not bad because she lands on roll again. Phew. What did that get her? She's got a six. Will it be a lucky six or not? We shall soon find out. One, two, three. Four, five, and six. Oh no! Poor Goody goes to jail. No, 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 no! Here's the spot where she needs to go. Oh no! I don't want to do it. I don't want to do it. Sorry, Goody. Well, there must be a way. Actually, is. According to the directions, she can either pay $50 at the start of her next turn, or she can use the get out of jail free card if she has it. If she does it, she could buy it from another player. And you guys remember, Batty has the get out of jail free card. Or she can get out of jail for free by rolling a six on her next turn. All of those options, but she has to wait for her next turn. No, I don't wanna be in jail. Alrighty then, now it's Batty's turn again. Okay, she landed on six. Where does that take her? One, two, three. And she passes the go, so she collects $200. One and two, right from the bank. Ching. Four, five, and six. She lands on Foxy. Oh, Foxy only costs $60. Now that's more like it. $60, I'll buy her. Let's go to Batty's bank. Here's 50 and 60. Foxy is right over there in the corner. Let's grab her card and put her in Batty's collection. And it's Dawn's turn again. She lands on five. Let's move her those five spaces. One, two, three, four, and five. What did she land on? She landed on Flower Child. And Flower Child is $300. Yay, I'll take her. Okay, that's if she has that much money though. Here's $500. Great, she has it. So 300 goes for the bank and she gets $200 back. One and two. And she's growing her LOL collection. We've got Flower Child from the Glam Club. Okay, let's roll for Dusk. She got five. Where does her five take her? One, two, three, four, and five. Oh no, she goes to jail. No, we don't wanna play this game no more. I'm the winner, everyone agrees. Bye. Dusk. Oh, okay. Hey, at least she has a little jail buddy. Oh, hey. Hey, Goody. Now we're at Goody's turn. She can either wait to see if she lands on six so she can get out of the jail free, or she can pay Batty for her get out of jail free card if she's willing to sell. Um, I want to try the free route. So uh, let's see if I uh, land on at six. Oh, smart but risky. Oh, did she land on six? She just landed on six. Yay! That's amazing! Oh, Blomo, you mean I get to stay in jail all alone? Whoa, she really did get lucky. Now we're gonna spin for her one more time to see where she gets to move to. She landed on four, so we're gonna move her one, two, three, and four spots. Oh, that takes her to MC Hammy. She's gotta pay rent. Now, Batty is the owner of MC Hammy, and since she has two pets, Neon Kitty and MC Hammy, that means she gets to charge $50. Oh, hey, and I just realized Batty made a match. She's got Foxy from the Retro Club and Beatnik Babe from the Retro Club also. That means she gets to collect a badge and charge extra for her rent if anyone lands on Beatnik Babe or Foxy. And stars cost $50 each. Well, okay, I buy a badge for both of them. A badge for each doll is $50 each, so it's $100. Here she goes. That goes in the bank. And now we can pick a star for each of her dolls. And the $50 for Goody's rent. She has 100, so we're gonna get change from the bank. We're gonna grab two 50s, 
50 goes to Batty for rent, and 50 goes back into Goody's bank. <laughs> I was kind of hoping you forgot about that. No, don't worry, I won't forget about it. Well then, lots of transactions. It's Batty's turn again. She landed on five. Let's move her on five spots. One, two, three, four, and five. She's just visiting. <laughs> sorry, Dusk. Yeah, I'm sorry too. Ow. It was an accident, I promise. You did that on purpose. No, it really was an accident. Mm-hmm. It's time to roll for Dawn again. She lands on one, which means she gets to roll again. Don't, don't mind if I do. She lands on three this time. Oh, and that takes her one, two, three, right on Kitty Queen. Wait a minute. Did I just make a Gwita Wadi match? I think she did. Well, Kitty Queen costs $350. I'll take it. I've got $400 from Dawn's bank. She's going to get $50 back. She can now grab Kitty Queen's card. And since she made a Glitterati match, she's got blue for each. She can buy stars for them. They're $200 each. What? $200 each? I think I'll pass. Okay, now it's Dusk's turn. Let's see if she can roll a six and get out of jail for free. Oh, sweet. She just got out of jail. Phew. Thank goodness. Let's roll one more time for her and see where else she goes. Okay, she lands on five. Let's move her up five spots. One, two, three, four, and five. Is that a new doll? Yep, she lands on Court Champ, who costs $180. Yes, we a woman. Okay, Dusk has $500. She doesn't have $180 exact. $500 minus $180 means we get $320 back from the bank. One, two, three, and 20. And Court Champ is added to Dusk's collection. That's quite the LOL collection she's got. Time to roll the dice for poor Goody. Okay, she lands on two. Where does she go? One and two. Yay, she lands on surprise. I'll please be a good surprise. Let's hope so. Here's the first card. Score. Steal a complete doll set from another player, including any badges on those dolls. Oh, uh-oh. <laughs> Time for Goody to be a baddie. I think I will steal Baddie's doll set with those wonderful badges. What? what? How dare you, Goody? But I'm quite impressed at your baddiness. Well, that's one way to play the game. So, two little badges go for Goody, along with Foxy and Beatnik Babe. And Goody just multiplied her doll collection. Time to spin the die for Betty. She lands on six. One, two, three, four, five, and six. She lands on surprise with Goody. Time for payback. Uh-oh. Okay, what surprise does Batty have? Hey, doll, advance to Dalmatian. If you pass go, collect 200. Whoa, Dalmatian is all the way over here. That means Batty goes whoop all the way around the board, passes the go, and lands on Dalmatian. Cha-ching, $200. Not bad, not bad at all. Only four more dolls left. Who will collect them? Time to roll for Dawn. She landed on five, so let's move her on up. One, two, she passes the go, collects her $200, four, and five. Uh-oh, she has to pay nap tax, $200. Now we go. Oh, that's right. She's got a safe pass from the surprise. Okay, let's put this right back in the surprises, and she doesn't have to pay. All right, let's roll for dusk. She lands on five. Okay, one, two, Three, four, and five. Hey, that's not bad. She gets to roll again. Okay, we got three. She goes one, two, and three. Hey, she landed on Spice, and she's $260. Spice is my best friend, so I buy her. One, two, three hundred dollars. She gets $40 back from the bank. And she gets Spice's card from the Opposites Club. Now all I gotta do is get sugar. Sugar, do 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 Oh, honey, honey, do 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 You are my candy girl. And you got me wanting you. Goody's turn again. She lands on five. One, two, 
three, four, five. Ooh, looks like she's gotta pay rent to the owner of Merbaby. Happens to be dusk, and rent for Merbaby is $20. Money, 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 money! Oh, come on, no more money! Here's $20 from Goody's bank, and into Dusk's bank it goes. Batty's turn again. She lands on one. Oh, that takes her to Honey Bun. She costs $100. Dow ticket. She has lots of money so she can afford it. Now we're winding down to the last couple of dolls. Here's Honey Bun, adding it to Batty's collection. Only It Baby and Sugar left. Round number 10, yep, you heard right. We just played 10 rounds of LOL Monopoly. And it's Dawn's turn again. Dawn landed on five. At this point in the game, pretty much everyone's gonna be paying rent to somebody. Here she goes, one, two, three, four, and five. She lands on DJ, who is owned by Dusk, of course, cause she owns the most dolls. And her rent is $8, it's not too bad. Yeah, not too bad at all. So here's five, six, seven, and eight. Ka ting Let's roll for dust. She lands on six. Looks like she avoids going to jail. One, two, three, right past the jail. Four, five, and six. Hey, she lands on it, baby. 320 whole dollars. Well, gotta dish it. Well, Dusk's been buying a lot, but she's been having a lot of people pay her rent, too. So let's see, does she have $320? Here's all her money. 20, 40, 60, 80, 90, 95, 100, 105, 106, 107, 108, 109, 10, 11, 12, 13, so $113 only left. She doesn't have $320. Oh, bummo. Should've watched my money. Well, don't want to admit it, but I can't afford it, so can't buy it. Uh-oh, in that case, it means that I have to auction it baby off. Let the biddings begin. I offer $10. I offer 20. Uh, uh, 30. Oh, 40. $100. Ooh, uh-uh. No, I'm, I'm not going up 100. Yeah, me neither. Alrighty, sold to the LOL with the green hair. Buddy. $100. And it baby goes to her rightful owner. Let's see, can Goody land on four? Oh, she landed on four. Day one, two, three, four. $280, I'll buy it. Okay, now let's see if Goody can afford sugar. Well, with $500, I think she can. 500 minus 280, she gets 220 back. 100, 200, and a $20 bill. Yeah. And the last LOL doll goes to Goody's collection. Okay, time to check out everyone's collection. Here's Batty's collection. She's got It Baby, MC Hammy, Honey Bun, Neon Kitty, and that's it. So two dolls and two pets. Dawn's got Queen Bee, Kitty Queen, she made a Glitterati match, Flower Child, Hop Hop, and Diva. So four dolls and one pet. On to Dusk's collection. Let's see who she collected. She's got DJ, Mer Baby, Kicks, Rocker, Spice, Court Champ, and she's also got a pet, Dalmatian. So six dolls and a pet. Goody caught up at the end of the game. She ended up getting Unicorn, Sugar, Foxy, and Beatnik Babe from the Retro Club. This is a match, and she also got the two star badges that came with it. She actually stole Beatnik Babe and Foxy from Betty with a surprise card. So four dolls and no pets. I knew it. I yeah, but I think we can all agree Dusk is the winner of the LOL Monopoly game. She also gets some prizes. Oh yeah, Tubaro. So not fair. Well, it is fair when Squirrel Baddie she did win a lot. Congratulations, Dusk. Thanks, Squirrel. Well, let's check these LOL Lils out. Which ones will be getting this? Secret messages. Makeup Queen. First accessory bag. Whoa, what's in here? There's nothing in there. Oh, there is something in there. We've got some glass slippers. And what about in here? 
Okay, we've got a duplicate. This is Jet Set Cutie's bag, or little Jet Set Cutie. Let's just hoppity hop her on out. Here she is, our little Jet Set Cutie. Let's check out this next one and then we'll color change them together. First bag up. Oh, we've got another duplicate. This little sister comes with a pair of shoes for her big sister. Pretty, pretty. And if you guys guessed a little pharaoh babe, you are right. Time for a change. A color change to be exact. Let's dunk them in. Oh, look at that. So little Farrah Babe, we've become pretty familiar with her color change. And here is a little Jet Set Cuties. So cool. She's got fishnet sleeves and fishnet tights on. Plus she's got camouflage diaper. Lots of cool color change on her. And same with little Farrah Babe. Oh, really cool. But there's color changes. Well, it's the end of our show. I hope you guys enjoyed playing the LOL Monopoly game with me. It was so so much fun. So many crazy surprises. That's it for now. Until next time, I will see you later. Bye.